Let's begin with President Kufuadu, who has described the tribal tie given the NPP-led administration as unfortunate. The president was addressing a deborah of the chiefs and people of Anglo State, said the deployment of the military to the various regions cannot be described as an invasion, explaining the Volta region got just 163 of the over a thousand personnel deployed across the country following a request by the immigration service. He assured the people of the Volta region they remain an integral part of the nation, adding that government will do everything possible to protect them and fulfill promises made to them. <laughs> Region is an integral part of the Republic of Ghana. And military deployments in the region cannot be described as an invasion. Some elements of social media went into a frenzy. We apologize for the breaking sound. We'll try and bring you that one uh, back. But on the issue of the Kita port, the president said feasibility studies will be completed soon to enable construction to commence early next year. Feasibility studies by German consultants on the Kita harbor are due to be completed soon, which will enable the construction to begin early next year. To this end, we have already issued an executive instrument on the 1st of October 2018, demarcating the lands that will constitute the Harbour Zone. This will be a major project which will open up the southern part of the region to accelerated growth and will create thousands and thousands of jobs. Before the onset of the pandemic, I told the Vulture region, I told the Vulture region, just as I've been doing annually to all regions in the country. I am back again, and I'm glad to have this opportunity to come and pay homage to Douglas Sweet III, the Awanafia of the Amro State. The traditional ruler I respect highly. And who's...